YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage back in the Croc Gark campaign. We're gonna keep things moving here. I made peace with Clan Mulder, which I'm kind of regretting, because I kind of feel like we're gonna end up fighting them eventually. I need to go back up here to Golden Tower and um, take it so we can get even more ritual currency. Um, I think we're in good shape in terms of we've got a pretty solid army at the moment. We got the Scar Veteran, we got Croc Gar. Research is underway, so that's always a good thing. Come from industry. We finished off getting a hold of the full provinces, which is super handy for us. Let's go ahead and build that building. Let's go in here in the building scrolls. Nothing else to do there. We've got troublesome public order in our two newest provinces and just barely stable in the other. I think it's time for us to end a turn. Y'all having a good day? I hope you're having a good day. I'm excited to be here. I'm really enjoying all these campaigns, but I really do like Krokgar right now. All right, Clan Moore is going to declare war. He might come attack me right away. That's not good. It's not what I needed. Fortunately for me, his army is pretty craptacular. Um, so as soon as we get up there to face him, we should be able to put uh, Queek and Clan Moors in their place. But... That kind of sucks because I just pulled that province together and he just wrecked it. And now I've got to take this army back up there and our public order is going to fall apart down here as well. But those uh, beastmen are doing me some favors down here right now. Okay, let's force march. we got to get up here as quick as we can before this guy causes me any more trouble than he already is. Because the amount of trouble that that just cost me is is uh, significant. Look at this. Public order is minus 88 and then minus 3. AI takes this and they're getting plus 33 public order right here. Military presence plus 20. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're just going to get even. All right. Um... We've got to get north as quick as we can because he could head to the Temple of Skulls at any moment. Just keep doing research here. Melee, well, actually, melee attack for Saurus units would be great. We've still got a couple of turns before we can get our army back up here. And like I said, as soon as I turn around, this whole area is going to fall apart in terms of public order. Let's keep working this. All right, let's see what we can do. Good news is, is I mean, like like I said, our army is very strong. It's going to be hard for anything but a really good Skaven army to beat ours, but our army is out of position by a couple of turns. That was a pretty untimely attack from the Skaven there. Very timely for them. Very untimely for me. If you declare war on me, I swear. Uh, okay, they want a peace treaty with me. I'm actually pretty good with that, and I need the money. Wisdom of the old ones. Construction cost goes down. Construction time goes up. Okay, whatever. I don't really care. That's fine. Oh, freak. He's going right for my Temple of Skulls. So that's going to put us in bad shape. What kind of protection do we have here? Not much. I've got a Saurus Scar Veteran and only a couple of Saurus Warriors. There's a couple of Croxagors, though. And they're going to have to siege, and their rat units are awful. There's just a ton of them. So if we can slow them down there in time for our army to catch up, that'll be good. You can see that because of the Skaven corruption here, it's uh, it's hurting us. And I think the Skaven corruption is actually increasing. No, it's decreasing. Okay. So Skaven corruption is decreasing. But yeah, all this stuff's going to want to rebel very, very soon. We're going to have a trouble. This this long north to south swath that we have set up here is going to be very difficult to defend. We kind of need a defensive structure in the main chain settlement for each of these spots. Can we build defenses at level 2? 
no, unfortunately we gotta be all the way up to level three. So we'll be able to build defenses down here when that's finished, but we won't be able to build defenses here. But that's okay, because that's a little closer to us in terms of being defensible. Okay, they're going to siege us at the Temple of Skulls. Okay, what do you guys want? Why would you declare war on me? Rotten Hades. Sorry, sacks of crap. What did I do to you? Sitting here getting attacked by rat men, are you going to turn against your own kind? Call yourself lizards? I thought you were the defenders. Training dummies? Wow, that's going to be good. Yeah, that's going to be real good. Our Soros warriors are going to be rat punching machines at this point. Yeah, you're going to wish you hadn't attacked me here real quick. Ombre. Pterodon Riders, Sara Spears, Skink Skirmishers. I'm going to build some defenses into some of these places. We got to hurry and get up here and... Okay, the rats sent their bigger army back forward. I might just ignore... Well, I don't want to ignore that army. We're going to punch it in the face and then try and get back up to the, uh, the temple. Sacrifice them. Winds of magic. Let's do this. Leave them be and get some extra relationship. Yeah, let's check out the public order situation. This is not good. We've got major public order issues right now. Major issues. This was a terrible time for the Skaven to attack me. Terrible for me, like I said. Ah, this isn't even worth our while. It's just going to be a rat stomping. Really? I, I lose a unit of Saurus Warriors? That's kind of annoyingly unnecessary, to be honest. But, alright, whatever. Let's occupy can I still recruit Soros Warriors? No, I cannot. That's frustrating. It's okay. Give me a couple of skinks while we're... No, because those are two turns and it's global pool. Because our building is bottled in there. So losing that Soros Warrior actually sucks pretty bad. Let's see this unit training. Spread public order, actually, because public order is our bigger issue right now. Skink Priest levels up, and we can get Curse of the Midnight Wind and Wind Blast now, so that should help us against the Skaven. Serpent Coast. I don't know if it's a good idea to spend this money yet. I'm going to do it, just in case. Ooh, wish I had some way to protect this stuff down here, but I just don't. Garrison is going to be so crummy. I don't even know if there's any point spending that because this is going to rebel so fast. And it's just going to get sieged and it will have tied up money. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. Everything's screwed up. Man, right when I thought we were in good shape in this campaign, I ended up like, oh man, everything's going great. And then the Skaven are like, hello! The rat hordes are in town. I don't know how many more turns Temple of Skulls can hold out, but we're gonna have to go save them. And we're gonna get these dang rebels in our way. Alright, is what it is, folks. Not much I can do about this at the moment. could build an extra building for public order so that whenever we do get done restoring this province we can hopefully settle it down faster let's do that I don't have a lot of money but I think that'll be money well spent that replenishment rate is gonna be handy through here too yeah 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 okay so here come the rebellions yeah 
Quick Head Taker showed up with another... He's just got a ton of crappy armies. As soon as we can bottle him back up on his side of the mountains, we'll kick the living crap out of him. Fortunately for me, um, a lot of my money is coming out of this main province, but that gold mine province means more to me than the other one, if we can hold on to one. Because we've got to get Queek to surrender. Raiding, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, leave me alone. I can't attack these guys because the dang rebels are in the way, and that stinks because then i got to kill all these rebels before I can get to the other ones. I'm going to save it because the auto-resolve screwed me over last time. Let's see what happens. Okay, very good to me that time. And then now we should be able to go after these guys here. How did they retreat that direction? That's a little bit weird. I'm actually really looking forward, and I meant I should have upgraded Krokgar first because I think we could have put him on Grimlock for the battle, but I really am looking forward to this revenge. And I have every intention of savoring it. It's a choke point battle, which is certainly not going to help the rats any. Because they don't have any ranged or magic to really take advantage of it. This is just going to be an absolute rat slaughter. Look at the attack on my Saurus warriors right now. Yeah, this is going to be great for me. Krokgar. Krokgar. Alright, let's move forward. I'm going to fast forward so we can get down here a little quicker. Stegadon's going to have a field day in the middle of all these cheap rats. We'll make sure and send them uh, on this side where there's no spears. Same thing with the Croxagores. Saurus warriors over here. These are javelins a little. Proxigors can help me hammer through this flank. Same thing with the Stegodon. Skink Priest. Use your breath spell over here. Looks like it's going to be a good place for it. skinks up here and let them do some skirmishing. We're going to start to tear apart this flank first. And we should be able to tear through this flank in a big, big hurry. Okay, we've got these guys right where I want them. All right, Croxigores, get in here and start tearing some rat heads off. All right, Skink Priest, get over here. Get this flank. Get that flank. Scar Veteran. All right, let's get our breath attack ready. See if that does the trick. Oh yeah, that was beautiful. Way to go, Skinky. Let's curse these guys. Just gonna get back from this flank a little bit. The rats are trying to get around to us. What just happened here? Okay, we just plowed through this side. Let's go keep wrapping up the rats. Alright, Skink Priest, come back up to the flank. We're going to have this Breath Spell again. Scar Veterans up here taking a crap on these rats, too. Yeah, these guys are going to wish real soon that they hadn't declared war on me, but because they had such huge numbers, it was 
benefiting them, like, ridiculously. There we go. Another devastating breath attack there from the Skink Priest. Okay, we're going to start bringing our reinforcements over to surround and destroy these guys. Nine seconds, we can get another breath spell off here. This breath spell is going to pay dividends against uh, the Skaven. I forgot you can direct it whatever way you want. That's awesome. What a nice addition. Glad to see CA changing stuff like that. Skink Priest racked up 74 kills. He's going to be going for a pretty nice record there. Let's go help these Saurus Warriors. All right, so now it's just a straight up rat slaughter. Okay, Croxagor is going to get over here and help us mop this up a little too. Send some Saurus Warriors over here. I love the way the skink priest talks, like all snaky sounding. Oh man, this has been some sweet revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. How did that feel, you dang vermin? So already two Skaven armies easily shredded by our lizards. So there's going to be quite the feast night after that. Try and keep our troops healthy, keep the Skaven on the run. So those guys got wrecked. Um, we're going to quickly get down here to the Serpent Coast as quick as I can. We can save this settlement too. So that saves my gold mine. The Temple Avenue of Gold actually has decent defenses at the moment. It's this cavern of Sotek that's not so much. Bastilladon with a solar engine. Takes six turns to get it done. So we're probably going to lose this tour of Pandar or whatever it is, but if we start building this... Yeah, this building here, it'll help give us an extra garrison. And we might be able to get over here, take the Golden Tower, and then see if we can get the Skaven to agree to peace. The other problem is then we got this other lizard faction right on the other side of the mountains there too that declared war on us for no reason whatsoever. Other than they were maybe trying to... Uh... Alright, look at this folks. Grimlock. 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 And uh, this geomantic sustenance. Uh, I like that. So we'll start taking down the upkeep cost of my army. Let's keep working on training for my army, get them all up to like triple gold chevrons. This will uh, overcast wind blast, uh, increased armor piercing, so we're not worried about armor piercing. But that wind blast is dang good. Overcast, wow, 50 seconds at midnight wind. Let's just start getting both of them. They'll both be worthwhile eventually. So that skink priest is gonna really be good to have. Really good to have. Public order, growth, income. That's the one we want. Okay. Alright, so it should be time for us to strike back at Clan Moors. They have got to be feeling the hurt after losing two straight battles massively and having nothing but clan rats, basically. They're gonna siege me. That just gives the me more time. The vortex is under attack, my lord. The winds of magic shriek and eddy about it in strange formations. For a mighty ritual is underway in some distant land. The power of the ritual pulls and distorts the vortex. Yet there remains a chance to intervene. I'm Find honestly not very worried about intervening. Channel the ritual and attack before its completion, my lord. 
Control of the Vortex must not fall into enemy hands. 10-4. Got it, buddy. Wow. We're going to have even more melee attack on our Saurus Warriors. Saurus Warriors, whatever. Okay, we're going to push up in here. Public order is going to stabilize pretty quick. There. Then we just have to worry about it down here. Our gold mine is going to be fairly safe for now, though. Not so much at the caverns of Sotek. Got about five turns before we can really stabilize things there. Growth plus ten, we'll take that. Construction. Okay. Thought we just did that, actually. There we go. Let's get some revenge at Golden Tower here, and then let's see how the Skaven feel about this continued war. Maybe we can get them to seek peace. But okay, what do you want, ugly? Non-aggression pact? Okay, sure. Just leave me alone. I got enough people I'm fighting right now. All right, Skink Priest. Let's upgrade Curse of the Midnight Wind come into Golden Tower, which we've needed to capture for a long time. Queek head takers here. Let's kill him. Yeah, our wind blast is going to work these guys pretty hard. And not only that, our Soros warriors are amazing right now. And they're just getting stronger and stronger. And then we should be able to cut our upkeep costs with a couple more upgrades to Krokgar. Wow, this map looks pretty cool. Lighting's a little wonky out on the mountains, but the fog and stuff with the dead trees is kind of cool. I'm not a big fan of the outer area of it. It doesn't look all that good, but... This on-map portion down here, on the other hand, I'm a big fan of. Let's gamble the winds. There we go. Start deployment. Have reinforcements. Let's take Croc around, Soros. Fight right. Actually, let's take this skink over here to. Let's go to this flank with the Soros warriors. Stegadon will take this flank. The... You guys see that where I select and then like it deselects everything there? It's very weird. I don't think it's just me, because I don't remember. What are these idiots doing going around this pillar? Oh, they're probably repositioning because of their uh, incoming reinforcements. Let's fast forward. It don't matter how many reinforcements you guys get, you're about to get cut to pieces. And eaten. Warp lightning coming down, but it's gonna mostly miss. Saurus. Let's get our Croxagores over here. After the Rat Ogres. Let's get in here. Let's use these skirmishers over here. Queek Head Taker's already caught. Quit deselecting when I pick you. Crap, dang. Let's get our skink priest. Get over here, so we got some beautiful spots to cast this tear-shaped attack. Krokgar, get over here and take on Queek. Ooh, warp fire throwers. Jab on that crap. Week. There we go. That should wreck most of these infantry through there. 
A little bit blobbed up over here. What's this? You gonna take that around? Okay, our skink priest busted up that flank pretty good. Queek's getting his face kicked in. And our Stegadon is doing a lot of wrecking over here, too. Alright, we got another good opportunity coming up for our skink here. Let's try that. Yeah! Feel the burn! Those warp fire throwers are actually getting some damage done over here. We'll chase these guys down. Scar Veteran, come up here after the Warlock. Another seven seconds, we can clean up another breath spell here. Come on. Right. No, 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 no. That's not where I clicked it. What a bunch of horse crap. It like spun around at the last second. <laughs> That's annoying. Oh well. We're winning pretty comfortably, so my idiotic misclick can be forgiven, I guess. Although it is annoying because that would have been absolutely gruesome in terms of destructive power. Crocgar is just over here owning. Okay, let's try this again. There. Not bad. Not bad, Skinky. He's got 129 kills. <laughs> well, you guys weren't lying about that breath spell, man. It's the real deal. We are slaughtering rats like crazy. Should be able to clear out the rest of these guys right here. Skink Priest has 146 kills. Man, the destruction is real, folks. The Skink Priest has more kills than the Stegadon, who's just been face-stomping rats since the very beginning of the battle. Krokgar on Grimlock is going to be near unstoppable here. We're going to have to wait for our Winds of Magic to build up more. Bring our Skink Priest out this way. If he does get enough Winds of Magic for the uh, Breath Spell, we can use him to get some of these Slingers. A lot of our units are going crazy now. Let's bring Krokgar over here to catch up with these Slingers. Just keep pushing forward, Soros. Come on, Krokgars. Six Winds of Magic, so we're not too far away. How are these guys holding on? Let's be honest with ourselves. Like, what what chance do the Skaven even have here? I mean, the Slingers can't run away from Krokgart. I'm finding it a little hard to believe why the power bar is being as kind to the Skaven as it is. That's okay. We'll just finish them. Just leaves more rats for me to kill. I'm I'm all right. I'll take the opportunity. Stegadon's going crazy now. Alright, Skink Priest has enough for a wind attack. But it's kind of too late now. Yeah, they're too far away. Alright, that's going to be it. So, the giant horde of Skaven cut the ribbons. That's going to be all the time I have for this episode as well. Look at that wanton rat slaughter there. 152 kills on the Skink Priest. 136 on Krokgar. Stegadon, 151. We did not lose any units. We picked up some pretty good loot. Queek Headtaker is dead, for the moment at least. I would assume this will get his faction to surrender. I'm gonna loot and occupy just to get some replenishment. We won't need any spawning pools, so let's tear that down. The casualty replenishment would be appreciated. I think these are the guys who declare... No, that's a neutral settlement. Enemy miner settlement, so... 
that's that one. Let's see. Okay, so these, yeah, those are the wizards that declared war on me. Let's see if we can get peace with Clan Moors. What, what? They're now at strength rank 51. <laughs> so they should want a peace treaty. You, you. Yes. All right, that'll keep Clan Moors off my back for now. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this one. Air of Carthage signing out for now. And I will be back soon with some more Croc Gar action. Right when you think that this campaign is going to cool off and start rolling, we just get hit with another horde of Skaven, folks. The Skaven hordes just don't stop. We need to uh, keep these guys from sieging out this settlement here. That way we can keep our gold mine. But things are, once again, looking somewhat settled for us as long as we can hold off the lizard men who declared war on us for absolutely no reason. It's probably just because of the strength rating. If we get our strength rating up just a little bit, they'll want peace as well. So, hope you enjoyed it. Air of Carthage, signing out for now.